Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. We are going to mix in a sour beer review. Uh, we've been reviewing mostly hoppy beers for the last however many beer reviews. Um, I had mentioned it's just what I like drinking, and it's been hot again for the last couple months. So, um, sours are actually really fun to drink when it's hot out too. But I've just been I've been drinking a lot of a lot of hops lately. Um, so yeah, from Side Project, my favorite sour brewery, and I always consider Side Project beers kind of like whaleish beers for me. I just they're really hard to get. Thankfully, Nathan has sent Side Project beers to me in the past. Um, this actually comes courtesy of my man Patrick. I mean, actually, Nathan sent me a bottle this a long time ago that I still haven't opened, but um, this is Pulling Nails Blend 4. Uh, this is a... It says Wine Barrel Fermented American Wild Ale. What's the ABB? 6%. It says Pulling Nails is an ongoing experiment in the art of blending to create sour and wild ales of extraordinary depth, complexity, and balance. Blend 4 is a union of Blended Number 40, which is a beer de champagne, um, and Pesh. Ode for Mir that was fermented and aged in wine barrels for 14 to 28 months. So a cool little blend of um, wild beers. I was at work on Friday and a box of beer showed up and I just, I can't believe the generosity of people. So Patrick, thank you, sir. Um, not only did he send this, but he sent this side project, his Wansy Day glassware to use. So crazy. <laughs> I don't even know what to say anymore. I really, really appreciate it. So let's get into this one. I love me some 6% sour beers. Um, first side project beer I ever had was Apricot du Fermier with Nathan a couple years ago in Eagle, Idaho at one of our arcade uh, things and that beer blew my mind. So really, really looking forward to this one. Uh, this beer, it's got that awesome, it looks like lemonade in the glass. Uh, as per usual with um, wild ales or sour beers, head doesn't really um, stick around on them. Like we can try and see if we can create some more head with this but it just kind of is a little I don't know like wisp of like white bubbles but um, this is actually I don't know if it's because it's cold it's really hazy so typically um, not typically but a lot of times sours are clear and they're just very champagne effervescent I can't see anything through that but it looks absolutely amazing in that glassware so um, this says I don't know what Pesce, Pesce Ode Vermeer is <laughs> I have no idea I don't know if there's any kind of fruit in this or not but let's go ahead and Shove our nose in it and see what she smells like. This smells, it, so it, it doesn't have that crazy over the top lemony acidic thing that um, a lot of like super sour beers do. This has this awesome, like, what's the best way to describe this? If you smelled champagne before, it smells like champagne. It's that effervescent, like, woody kind of oaky. There is a lemon thing to it but it's not like over the top acidic like this is, it doesn't have like that vinegar kind of a thing this just smells tart it doesn't uh, smell sour it doesn't smell like your belly's gonna hurt it has a little bit of that kind of funky I don't want to say barnyardy because a lot of people just that's their go-to when it comes to wild ales but it has this funky kind of earthy like think dusty dirty thing but yeah the best way if you're not into sour beers Whenever, like on New Year's, you toast with some champagne, it smells like champagne. It's got that kind of champagne-y thing, but very, very much woody. The barrels that this were uh, aged in, you're, you're getting a lot of that kind of oaky, almost like the sweet, it's not vanilla, but it's the sweet kind of like, what else? Like, if you go outside when it rains and you smell like wet wood, it kind of smells like that. But yeah, it smells killer. So let's go and taste it. Patrick and Nathan. I mean, I don't know what I have two of these in the fridge. I just grabbed one, but Patrick was the most recent person who sent this and the glassware. So, cheers, gentlemen. Thank you. Whew. I didn't smell, or yeah, I didn't smell tart, but it's very much tart on your on your uh, tongue. Wow, that's delicious. But the tartness kind of is there for a second. The next couple sips I take, my palate will adjust to that. It's there kind of on the top of your tongue and then goes to the side. Like think of eating sour candy, lemon heads, like that kind of, or even like, um, what else is sour? Not warheads, it's not that sour, but it kind of gets you on the side of your tongue. My mouth's watering right now. But damn, that is delicious. That's really, really, really good. Um, 
it has that champagne thing going on, like what we smelled. There is a fruity kind of thing to this, and I don't know what it is. It's almost like this peachy, almost like nectarines. Definitely has the lemon. It's not acidic because it's not like crazy sour, but it's got that lemon kind of lemon zest thing. Carbonation on this is awesome. It's very effervescent, much like champagne, but it's very woody. Um, and there is like this vanilla thing. It's sweet. And I think you're getting that from the barrels. This is killer though. My, my mouth's already like kind of adjusted to it. So it's not like over the top sour anymore. I don't want to say it was sour the first drink, but it was definitely tart. That's so good, man. Um, this is 7.50. I'll be splitting this with my wife. This isn't a beer that you'd be able to drink a lot of. Just because, I mean, your tongue, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to taste anything after this. This might, this, this might be kind of too sour for people who are just getting into this. It's cool because even if it, as it sits on my tongue more of that kind of funky, I think oaky and, and earthy, kind of woody is the best way to, do, to, to describe that. Sours are fun, especially after drinking all the hops that we've had. Just because it's fun to try and figure out what you're tasting. Yeah, carbonation spot on. I like how ever, have ever invested in effort invested it is. Yeah, I think the best like fruit I think to compare it to is like kind of peachy nectarine with a little bit of like lemon zest. Good acidity, it's not over the top. It's a good amount of sourness, a good amount of tartness, sourness, tartness. Um, this is killer. If this was like fruited purposefully with something, I, I'm a sucker for fruited sours. Um, any kind of stone fruit sours, cherry, I go nuts over that shit. Um, I probably would be losing my mind. This is really, really good. Like, I mean, this is world class at 98, 99, right there with like the best sours, wild ales, non-fruited wild ales. This is fantastic. It's awesome, awesome stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna go 98. Side Project continues to kill it. They're my favorite sour brewery. That's Pulling Nails Blend 4. Interested to see um, how many people have had this. I know Nathan has had it, and I know Patrick has had it, so at least the three of us can talk about it if you guys watch this review. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go inside and share this with my wife. I think she will love it. So, I'm out of here, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.